Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Laura here from Thrifty Adventures. Um, I haven't done a haul video in a while, so I wanted to um, pop in, and I got some stuff this week. Not tons, but I got some stuff to show everybody. Um, so I'm just going to start it right off. I went to the my first garage sale of the season today. I was so excited. I love garage sales. Um, and I got some Tupperware. So vintage Tupperware is good. It's a Tupperware, and this marker will come right off with a magic eraser. Um, I got a whole bunch of these for a quarter. They don't sell for tons, but for a quarter, these will be five ten dollars easily. So I got that and some sandwich ones. So they're all different colors. Let's see, uh, four. I think I got a couple more in here. Yellow. Orange and one more, one more bowl. So this will easily bring me uh, twenty to thirty dollars for everything, um, and I spent three dollars total at the garage sale. So that'll be fantastic. I also got a ornament. This one isn't. Um, I picked this one up because it was the light in motion, and I've sold another one that was like this for like fifty dollars. This one actually only sells for about ten to fifteen. Um, but I got it for 50 cents. So once again, not that bad. And I always look at the, the light and motion ones are always good to look at. And then the last two things, sorry, I keep under over. The last two things I got there were these fairies called um, fairies, pixies, knee huggers. Cause their um, legs move up there. These are, and it has tag dream, dream dolls. This one says, uh, made in Japan. Um, these I got for a quarter each, and these sell for um, about 10 to 15 each. So I got these, um, and I'm going to um, do a quick shout out to my parents because um, they're the ones that started buying these, and I knew nothing about them. So I got these two uh, for a quarter each. So that'll be a nice little garage sale haul there for the first one of the year. I will take it. And then I went thrifting with Lynn um, this week, so I got some, our other admin of the Thrifty Adventure group, um, and I got a Jeffrey. Toys R Us stuff, of course, with it closing down, is more valuable and collectible now. People are searching it out. Um, this one, it's supposed to talk. This one is actually not working. Boo. But um, I bought it for 5 I'll still should be able to sell it for 20 not working. Um, working, it would probably go between 50 to 70 actually. Um, and I got some vintage Pinocchio birthday hats. Um, what did I get these for? $2.99. And these sell each package. There's two packages. Um, I sold each package was selling for $15. So that should be a good $30. Then, even though this shouldn't even be allowed in my house because it's White Sox and I'm a huge Cubs fan. That's okay. It makes me money, so it's fine. Uh, this is a Paul Canerico. Um, I got it for $3.99. With the box, this sells for $50. So without the box, I'd say about $30. Then we got a photo album. I did spend $3.99, a little bit more than I normally spend on a photo album, but it is much bigger and it's new. Um, it's got a lot of pages, and it's a big one. Uh, I know some people stray away from stuff that has years. Um, but I sell a lot of things that have the years. I think people go on vacation. Um, they don't get, you know, photo albums or picture frames. And then, you know, down the, the line, they're looking for things. So I, I sell a lot with years. So don't don't stray away, but don't spend too much on them either. So this should go for about 15 to 20 and I got a Disney purse, and this one is from the parks, which of course, um, I've said before, is a little bit more valuable. I am going to take out the thing I have in here, and I will show you that tag. So it says it right on it, Disney parks. Um, so it is super, super clean. I don't even think it was ever used. So this I spent $5 for, and it should sell for $20 to $25. Um, and save that one. And these, I got a set of four of them. They're little mice, and they're Odegary. I'm going to give a shout-out to Lynn. Um, 
who's had talked about Odegary before um, that are collectible. So I got a set of four of them for $4, so a dollar each. Um, and I'm probably going to, um, I haven't researched them yet, so I don't know if I'm going to sell them as a set or individually. Um, but I'd probably say for the set, I'm hoping around 30 and then we have a, an Eeyore sweater. Let's see, a little hoodie. Um, this I spent $3.49 on. Uh, and it is from the Disney store. Um, I am probably going to list this one for about between $20 and $30. And I got some mini snow globes my daughter actually found these and i'm going to tell you a fun little story so i i bring my five-year-old daughter thrifting with me all the time um she's very good at finding disney things and mugs are her favorite so she found these little tigger ones uh, mini snow globes do pretty well um they actually sell for a lot more than i would have ever thought when i first started selling these so i want these for three dollars each and they'll get me um 15 to 25 each and some go for a lot more so and I'll give you an example so she bought three of them and then so what happened so how I do it is she buy find stuff I buy it and then I, I ask her afterwards do you want to pay me for any of these things so you can sell them for money or do you want me to keep them so sometimes she'll just have me keep them and sometimes she'll say I'll give you the money and you can sell them for me so she decided to keep this one this was a stitch one, um, and I let her keep this one so that I can sell it for her, and I looked it up, this little snow globe here, the last sold was $100, so she's going to make a nice little sale when that, when that sells, so um, she was very excited about that, so always look at the little snow globes is the, the um, lesson there. Uh, next. I got a Finnegan's figurine. I spent $5, hoping to get about 20 to 30 on it. A little St. Patrick's Day. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, I'm my bag. Okay. I got one more bag here of items. I got some scrub tops. This one is a Bambi. Uh, I spent $2.99 on it. It does have all its tags, and it's a size extra large. So I sell all my scrub tops between $15 to $20. Not a huge profit margin, but I sell quite a bit of them. So they're easy sells. Easy ships right in a poly mailer and a grumpy hair bear. And that's the same, $3, uh, and it's an extra large. Then we have a grumpy hat. Um, and this one was actually a exclusive to the Snow White release. Um, I haven't looked it up. I would probably say about 15 to 20. I bought it for, it was half off of this. So I got it for a dollar. Or, it was a dollar 99. So I got it for a dollar. Then, let's see what else we got. I don't even remember. So it's a surprise to both of us. Oh, my daughter got this one. Normally I don't buy Frozen. But sometimes when my daughter picks out stuff, I give it to her it's cheap so this was a dollar I should be able to get about ten dollars for that hopefully and, uh, I got a Tigger birthday figurine this one was four dollars um, probably about 15 to 20 for him and this one I thought was so cool um, it looks like, after I researched it, probably about $20, 15 to 20 It's Popeye, so it's wimpy. And it's a salt and pepper shaker. You can see the hole in the top there. And he comes with his hamburger. Cute little, cute little set. Um, so I got that, was both of them was $1.93. So not too bad there. And then last but not least, it's a whole bedding set of the Smurfs. I got three pieces. I spent $7 on the three-piece set. I'm hoping to probably get uh, $30, $40 for it. 
Um, so not too bad of a haul. I hope everybody, um, sorry, I'm going to get in there. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. Good luck thrifting if that's what you're doing or, you know, listing. Um, have fun and I will talk with you guys all soon. Bye-bye.